Hey everyone! Welcome back to Mari's Creative Corner. It's so good to have you here. In today's video, we're going to be unboxing another Varnail PR package. Today, they sent me this brand new and gorgeous gel polish kit. These are uh, kind of like pink and nude and jelly shades. They are so pretty, they are so special, and I'm super excited to unbox them and show you the colors. First of all, let's talk about how gorgeous the gel polish bottles are. I just think they're so cute. I love them. The first color is 003 called June Bride. I'm gonna be taking off the caps so I can do the swatches for each color and I'm gonna be showing you the colors. This is a pink with this kind of like green uh, glitter. Then we have 002 Blush Rose and this is a very beautiful jelly pink shade. All of these colors are about the same theme, so they're right up my alley. They're like the colors that I would use anyways. Then we have 001, Sunny Afternoon. I think I actually should have opened them, you know, from this side up, but it's okay. This is a lilac shade with yellow glitter. It's so pretty. Um, after that, we have 006, Sweet Dream, which is another super gorgeous glittery shade. It's this deep uh, blush color with little gold glitters inside that are barely visible. I just think they're so subtle and pretty Our next color is called in love another gorgeous jelly pink shade next up we have 004 pink veil and This is also one of my favorites. I've used this quite a lot since I got this kit It's super super pretty and pink and nude. I'd love it <laughs> So these are all of the shades these are all of the colors included. As you can see, they are stunning. All of them are these beautiful pink shades and I was very excited to show you what look I came up with. So I'm going to show you a little bit of nail prep uh, because I wanted these nails to last. I'm going to zoom you in a little bit and I'm going to take their buffer uh, file and I'm going to slightly uh, buff my nails and just take off the shine. You don't need to press hard or do a lot of filing. That's all you need pretty much. Just take off the shine of your natural nails and this will help ensure that the polish is going to stick on your nail for as long as possible and adhere properly. And after you're done filing and buffing and removing the shine, you need a dehydrator which will make sure that all of the oils uh, and the moisture from your nails goes away and that your nails are completely dry and ready for primer. And I'm going to be doing this on all of my nails. I actually do two coats of dehydrator on mine just because my uh, nails are a little bit on the oily side. And then I went ahead with a non-acid primer to make sure that my nails adhere. After applying the primer, I usually wait for a few minutes. It kind of creates a little bit of a tacky layer. So I let it dry completely and then I go ahead and add my base coat, which you will see very shortly. Now when it comes to base coat, I usually don't apply a very thick layer unless I'm using a Peel Love uh, gel base coat. You can see that I'm just trying to apply it all over the natural nail, trying not to get too close to the cuticle or my skin around the nail. And as always, I have to keep a very thin layer. This helps uh, ensure that the gel is sticking into the ridges of the nail and lasts as long as possible. So in a previous video, Varnail sent me these soft gel tips that they uh, have on their website and I have the shade Medium Almond, which is actually my favorite and I really really like these tips, I really like how shaped, uh, no, like I like the way that they are shaped <laughs> is what I wanted to say and I'm gonna go ahead and pick out all of my sizes, make sure that they're covering from side wall to side wall even a little bit more so that you have enough space for the solid glue to like properly adhere between your nail and the extension and I'm gonna be using their own uh, adhesive gel for the tips. If you remember in my previous video I really like this gel, it's a little runnier than other soft uh, gel tip glues. Uh, if you've seen from other companies, they're very hard and this one is a lot easier to adhere. So I really like it. Um, so yeah, I just scoop a little bit into the nail tip and then I try to press it somewhat in the middle of the nail and slowly slide it towards the cuticle area and then press it firmly on the rest of the nail so that I don't have any air bubbles and that the gel is applied on the entirety of the nail. This is a pretty easy method. As you can see on some of the nails, I've actually used my cuticle tool and just pushed up the gel a little bit so that it doesn't create a bubble right where my natural nail 
uh, ends and the tip starts. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And after that, I'm gonna go ahead and apply a layer of base coat on all of the nails. And we're pretty much ready with prepping. And these nails lasted me for, I think about two and a half weeks, which was awesome. So these are the polishes I decided to use for today. I am also going to be using two of their solid polishes from uh, the previous box that I received. And as you can see, I already went in with the application. This is the, I think this is the In Love color. I don't really remember the colors I used exactly, but I can look it up and let you know which ones they were exactly. And I applied three layers total of all of the polishes. Um, I wanted to use the slightly darker pink as well on this nail just to try it out and see the difference between the colors. And I also used that beautiful blush shimmery uh, color on my ring finger and my middle finger. And yeah, as I said, I, you will see me applying two layers of these, but I went in with a third layer off camera. I didn't want to bore you with another application, you know. But yeah, they were super pigmented, I really like how they turned out and you can either use them like with two coats to make them have a more jelly look like this as you can see here or you can go in with a third coat and make them a little bit more opaque. Because I was going in with a matte top coat which you will see right after these are done, I wanted to have a more um, uniform and like not jelly look for these in particular. But I've used them for other looks and they look incredible with the jelly effect. <laughs> So after the matte top coat has cured, you can see that I'm going straight in with a little detail brush and I am creating my first um, nail design, which is a sweater nail. If you're following me on Instagram, it's at Maddie's Creative Corner. Um, I will probably write it here somewhere. <laughs> and I am obsessed with sweater nails. Um, I, it's just one of my favorite trends ever. I have so much fun creating them every year and I was looking forward to this so much. So make sure that you're gonna like see more um, sweater nails on the channel during the fall season. Um, yeah, and even for Christmas and stuff, like there, I have so many designs and I just love sweater nails so much. There's so many different ways to do it. All you have to do is apply your design with your favorite gel polish color. I usually use the same one as the base. And then right on top of that, you take your clear acrylic powder and you just apply it all over the nail. And then when you're finished like covering the entire design with acrylic powder, you go ahead and you cure it in the lamp and then you dust off the excess powder. Otherwise your design will be ruined and all your hard work will be lost. But here is what it looks like. And for the other nail designs, I wanted to paint some pumpkins. I thought that, you know, it was kind of overdue that I started painting pumpkins already because I was doing summer designs up until like last week and we're well into October at this point. With Halloween coming up, I thought pumpkins would be the perfect addition to this look. So that's what we're doing. As you can see, I'm just painting the outline of the pumpkin, filling it in. I also did two coats of this uh, solid polish for the pumpkins just so that it was covered in opaque and yeah i did the same design on my pinky as well didn't want to bore you too much with it but that's pretty much how it came out and these uh gels i will also link in the description they were from a previous box but i didn't get to use all of them for like more solid designs i did um some line nail art uh designs on the video that I received those so go ahead and watch that if you would like to see how I use them and the rest of the colors of this collection and yeah what I did after that I used the darker purple no, not purple orange Jesus <laughs> the darker orange shade and I mixed it with some brown and I made this deeper shade to outline the pumpkin and add some um, little how are they called like different elements to it so that it looks a little more realistic so essentially what i did was mix um a little bit more brown or a little bit of white into that existing shade and i just added some uh, different shades into the pumpkin and i didn't really know like i'm not the best when it comes to painting like real life stuff <laughs> i just like painting cartoon characters or doing like random nail art that as it comes to my head i don't know how to explain it but yeah just started, started adding some little random lines just to kind of make it show like the pumpkin had a little bit of dirt on it or some ridges or that you know it's been sitting out in the field for a little bit too long 
because it's supposed to be a pumpkin and it's not supposed to be perfect. Um, so yeah, I think I kind of created the vision that I had in mind. Um, yeah, and the white I used for a little bit of shading, like for, not shading, the opposite of shading, I guess. Light, for some light, adding some light. You, I think you understand what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm not the best at explaining myself at times, but it's okay. So yeah, that's pretty much all that I did. I also use a little bit of uh, this green shade that uh, they have in their solid uh, tip, not solid tips, solid gels collection. And I added some little stems for the pumpkin and some leaves. That was pretty much all. And this is not from Barnell. This is from a different company. Um, I don't think I can find it online because I got it from a friend who sells them locally. Um, so it's just a metallic, uh, like bronze color. I just used it to add a little bit more details onto the pumpkin and to make it look a little bit more magical. So you can use any kind of color or glitter you want to add that design to it, that little extra sparkle. And then I used the same color to kind of outline the sweater design. I wasn't planning on doing that, to be honest, but I thought that it blended in a little bit too much with the base color i just wanted it to look a little bit more you know toned <laughs> to stand out a little bit more so i think i achieved that pretty well without ruining the design so yeah of course you know that i cannot forget to add a lot of bling on the nails because i love bling <laughs> and rhinestones and glitters and stuff they're just my favorite thing to add so I added these beautiful charms that I got from Shein and then I went ahead with the same colored rhinestones and added some around it and I also added them like on the top part right in the middle of the nail <clears throat> and I also added some gold caviar beads. I was planning on adding some flowers but I thought that since I did the pumpkins it would kind of clash with you know seasonal flowers being springy and pumpkins being folly <laughs> so yeah i just i didn't i just added those and i thought they looked really cute but yeah it, you know it's not too much for me it's i always like rhinestones and a lot of stuff so it's fine i like them i repeated the same thing on the thumb and that's pretty much it for the rhinestones Of course, you cannot forget to add top coat, and I honestly love their top coat so much. It's not too runny, it's super shiny, and I have almost run out of it already, to be honest, because I'm using it so much. <laughs> but it's literally one of my favorite top coats I've used so far, so I will link this in the description down below because you need to get it, you need to try it. <laughs> As always, you cannot forget the cuticle oil to nourish your cuticles. And here is the finished look! I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. A big thank you to Varnell for sending me more of their beautiful products to try. I'm so excited that this is officially like my first full design. Yeah, so if you liked it as well, please leave a like and a comment telling me what you thought and subscribe for more videos every single week. I've been trying to upload as frequently as I can, so I hope you guys are enjoying that. So yeah, I will see you in my next video and it's also going to be a full themed one and I'm super excited for it. So yeah, I'll see you soon. Bye!